Namaste and welcome to the second episode of our AI Literacy Bridging the Gap series. My name is Devika and I am your trusted trainer, fact checker friend and enlightening guide. Having delved into the evolution of AI in our previous video, we are now embarking on another captivating journey through the realms of AI myths and reality. Let's uncover the truth in today's journey and hear from the horse's mouth. So AI is definitely not hype uh, because we are seeing a lot of investment going in to AI startups and uh, established AI companies. And this investment is uh, translating now into products and services being launched uh, by these companies such as Microsoft Copilot, uh, which help us, you know, sort of uh, improve our productivity. Finally, uh, we can also see all the major economies across the world. Uh, they are they're establishing AI regulations to, to help control and guide the growth of AI. I can't agree more with Dr. Azhar. To start, let's talk about different types of AI. Narrow AI, also known as weak AI or artificial narrow intelligence, refers to a type of artificial intelligence that is designed and trained for a specific task or a limited set of tasks. Unlike human intelligence, which is characterized by adaptability and a broad range of cognitive abilities, narrow AI is highly specialized and excels in performing predefined functions within a narrow domain. It is like having a superhero with one amazing power, but that's all they can do. Imagine narrow AI as a super specialized expert named translator Tony. Tony is incredible at translating languages. You can say something in English and Tony instantly turns it into Indic languages or Spanish or any other language you want. But here's the catch. Tony can't help you with anything else. He won't tell you about the news or the weather. He's only a translation genius. Now meet chess master Chloe. Chloe is an AI designed to play chess. She's unbeatable at it. You can challenge her to a chess match and she'll outsmart you every time. But, and here's the important part, Chloe doesn't know how to play any other games. She can't even play tic-tac-toe or tell you a joke. Chess is a world and she is the queen of it. Now I'm sure we all have seen the Terminator and Iron movie series and appreciated Arnold's and Java's role in it. Well, the other two artificial general and super intelligence are what we often see in science fiction. It can be alien or a machine with human-like intelligence that can understand, learn and perform any intellectual task a human can. However, hold, we are not there yet. No machine currently exhibits this level of intelligence. Not even Sophia, who is an advanced AI robot, but her capabilities are limited to specific programmed responses and interactions. She does not possess consciousness or self-awareness like humans do. These intelligent machines may learn new skills just as easily as you can. They can teach, learn, create and adapt, all with the grace and intelligence of a human being. However, as of now, we are still working on achieving this level of intelligence in machines. The most advanced AI systems that we have today are still narrow AI systems. There is still a lot of research that needs to be done before we can get or achieve AGI or ASI. Now that we understand the types of AI, let's debunk some myths and reveal the realities. There are two main myths uh, surrounding AI. The first one is that it's going to take over the world. Um, at least the current set of models are quite disconnected and resource heavy, so it's, it's, it's difficult for me to imagine you know, them taking over the world. Um, and then they're also kind of behind locked doors, not easy to access. The, the second myth is that it's going to be better than humans. I think our human creativity, decisioning, insights will, will have its place and these models, these systems will augment our capabilities. Myth 1. AI can think like humans. Well, AI processes data based on algorithms and patterns. It lacks consciousness and subjective experience which are fundamental aspects of human thinking and reasoning. Myth 2. AI will replace all jobs. While AI can automate repetitive tasks, it also creates new opportunities. It is a tool to enhance productivity and creativity, not necessarily a job terminator. Myth 3. AI is always right. AI is not infallible. It can make errors, especially when it encounters situations it hasn't been trained for. Human oversight and intervention is essential. Myth 4. AI is a black box. Some think AI is incomprehensible. In reality, efforts are made to make AI more transparent and interpretable, ensuring accountability and fairness. 
Mythfy, AI is too complicated and expensive for small businesses. Not just big techs, but AI can also help small businesses to automate tasks, improve customer service, and make better decisions. Myth 6. AI is not biased. AI systems are trained on data, and if that data is biased, the AI system will be biased as well. The responsibility lies with the designers, developers, and users of AI systems. Myth 7. AI is only about robots and automation. While automation and robots are visible applications of AI, it encompasses a much broader field as it can be implemented in various domains, including healthcare, finance, transportation, education, and more. Myth 8. AI leads to misinformation. While AI significantly amplifies the speed and reach of misleading content, posing a real challenge in the fight against misinformation, it isn't the sole driver. AI can also help combat misinformation by detecting and flagging false content at scale. Natural language processing models can analyze text for inconsistencies and fact-checking. AI-driven content recommendation systems can also promote reliable sources. However, human oversight remains essential for refining AI algorithms and ensuring ethical use. Well, artificial intelligence is a powerful tool with various types from narrow to general. It's not a magical thinking machine, but rather a complex system designed to solve problems. And it is not here to take our jobs, but to assist us in creating a better future. Of course, if we are wise enough. So stay tuned for more in-depth explorations into the exciting world of artificial intelligence. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest insights. Thanks for joining us on the AI Literacy Bridging the Gap series. Until next time.